वेलकम डियर व्यूअर्स टू द वीडियो ऑन स्टेबिलिटी द वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द फ्रीक्वेंटली आज क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्टेबिलिटी टॉपिक फॉर द इंटरव्यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टेबिलिटी इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग टॉपिक इट इज अ वास्ट टॉपिक टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देर आर मेनी क्वेश्चन which can be asked on to the stability i have enlisted some of the questions which may help in the interviews and by which you can understand the stability topic let's start with the basics the stability studies are the studies which are performed on the drug substances and also on to the drug formulations to establish the expiry period to establish the shelf life to select the suitable packaging system and to establish the storage recommended conditions or to provide the storage recommendations the stability studies are prime requirement for the regulatory approval whether it is drug substance or whether it is a drug product whenever there are changes made to the drug substance and the drug product that time stability data is required to have the regulatory approval for those changes for all the major changes and moderate changes stability study is required also if there are number of minor changes then also it is good to have the stability data as it may be required by the regulators at any point of time also the regulatory approval is based on to the stability stability commitment and the stability data so stability becomes very important topic in the interviews now start with the frequently asked questions so these questions are based on my experience and these questions are frequently asked and if you are able to give the answer to these questions then it is understood by the interviewer that you are a well versed person in this topic and also the interviewer can understand that you have the exposure and the experience i have given the questions you can study and can make a question bank along with the answers so that it will be ready with you when you are going for the interviews the questions are like what are the different stability conditions or stability study conditions what are the climatic zones what what is the accelerated condition intermediate condition and the long term condition for stability testing so accelerated condition intermediate condition and long term condition are the different stability conditions then why stability is performed for this question you can answer the the answer the question like it is for establishing or demonstrating the stability to establish the expiry period and also to have the stability data based on which the regulatory approval can be granted also stability study is performed for establishing the recommendations for storage conditions then what is the importance of accelerated stability condition as you are not going to store the product at accelerated condition in the real time use then why accelerated condition is required so you study and 
you make the answers at your own and i am saying this because if you study and find try to find the answers you will read more and you will learn more when the stability studies are performed what are the super guidelines for stability study or how the supec changes are performed and how the supec changes are granted or approved based on the stability data stability requirement for split tablet or the tablets which are scored or the tablets with break line what are the seques or what seques are tested in the stability studies when the stability fails when you can say that the stability is failed and when you can say that the stability is passed what is the significant change in stability study this is very favorite question that what is significant change what is in use stability study and why it is done what are the requirements for in use stability study what is whole time study some people call it as whole time stability study some people call it as whole time study and what is the reason behind whole time study what is polymorphic stability study and why it is done what is meaning of less stable formulation what is the meaning of stable formulation in the pharmaceutical field some people call it as the product is less stable what happens to the less stable formulations when you can say that the product is less stable and how you are going to deal with the less stable formulations that is very very interesting what are the ways to stabilize the product you know if the product is not stable at some condition or in some packs or it is sensitive to light or sensitive to oxygen sensitive to temperature what measures you will take to stabilize that product how the packaging system can be designed to stabilize the product what is the time period for different stability conditions the example is like accelerated condition stability study is performed for 6 months generally that is the requirement intermediate condition for 12 months and long term condition for around 24 months or uh, around 36 months also you can extend these long term conditions and you can study when there is a significant change in the product what is the real time stability condition or what is real time stability study how the expiry period is calculated based on the stability data so this question is related to evaluation of the stability data and extrapolating the stability period or expiry period stability condition for zone 4b what are the stability conditions for zone 4b so for zone 4b 30 degree celsius and 75% rh is the condition for long term what is freeze thaw study so generally freeze thaw study is performed for liquid formulations to study the impact of sudden change in the temperature what is mean kinetic temperature and how it is calculated what is the role of mean kinetic temperature can be asked what is arrhenius equation and its relation to the stability study may be asked how storage recommendations are given based on the stability data or how you recommend the storage conditions what are the factors affecting stability of the formulation what is the degradation process and what are the degradation reasons what are the reasons for degradation impurity formation what are the thresholds for impurity this is very favorite question of the interviewers so how many thresholds are there and what are the thresholds so thresholds are reporting threshold identification threshold and the qualification threshold 
and based on these thresholds the impurity specifications are given what are the known and unknown impurities what are process impurities what are degradant impurities what are process plus degradant impurities are always asked in the interviews then what is impurity qualification so establishing the safety or toxicity for the impurity isolated impurity is called as impurity qualification first we have to identify the impurity and then we have to check its toxicity what are the factors affecting impurity formation is the important question when intermediate stability can be omitted another question within question is when the stability is done for intermediate condition so generally when accelerated condition fails that time intermediate condition samples are tested and always keep in mind that the intermediate condition stability samples are loaded along with the all other conditions so that whenever there is a significant change at accelerated condition you can take out the intermediate samples intermediate condition samples and you can test those samples what are the stability conditions for products packaged in semi permeable containers so the ophthalmic preparations some injectable preparations are packaged into the semi permeable containers and for those semi permeable containers increase in assay may happen because of the container semi permeability also the decrease in water may also happen or liquid may also happen so semi permeable containers are tested at lower rh conditions compared to the impermeable containers what is specified impurity what is unspecified impurity what is unknown impurity or what is known impurity how the stability specifications are given for impurities so in the channel you may find the videos for impurity formation post degradation and many more and through these videos you can find the answers what is force degradation and how it is related to drug stability or or the question may be asked like that how the force degradation may help in the drug stabilize drug stability study or in the stabilization of the drug what is meaning of permitted excursions in the temperature or permitted excursions what is room temperature what is meaning of store in refrigerator what is bracketing and matrixing in stability study what is the principle behind bracketing and what is the principle behind matrixing what if the product fails at accelerated condition so if the interviewer ask you that what happens or what if the product fails at accelerated condition so you will say that then the product will be tested at intermediate condition then interviewer may also ask that what if the product fails at intermediate condition then you will say that the product will be tested at long term condition then the question may arise that what if the product fails at long term condition so the questions will go on and if you have good understanding then you can answer so for present question that what if the product fails at long term condition that time you can say that then the product is required to be reformulated first thing second the product packaging system is required to be changed or studied also the storage recommendation can be changed if the product is not stable at 25 degree that is long term condition then you can you you should or you can or you may change the recommended storage temperature or storage condition and you can make it 2 to 8 degree and you study the product at 2 to 8 degree celsius and if it is stable then 
you can give the recommendation on storage temperature also you can shorten the expiry period but the best way is to have a stable formulation what are the testing intervals in stability and how these are designed what are the guidelines and what are the regulatory requirements for testing intervals what are the stability requirements for generic product application data requirement for generic product filing can a product be filed with 6 month data so yes product can be filed with the 6 month accelerated intermediate and long term data and the stability commitment should be provided what is the what if the product fails at in some at some conditions or at some packs but stable in others so you can select the packaging based on the data what is dec study or compatibility study so drug excipient compatibility study is the study which is performed in pre formulation stage to understand any compatibility and incompatibility between the drug and the excipients and this will help you to understand the product behavior or the behavior of the drug substance with in contact with the other excipients what are genotoxic impurities what are nitrosamine impurities nowadays nitrosamine impurities are always asked in the interviews how to identify the impurities then how to specify the impurity what is rrt what is rrf these are also asked how to determine that the impurity needs to be qualified when you can you will say or you can say that this impurity qualification is required what is photostability study what are the batch size and number of batches required for andas that is generic product for us market number of lots used in the exhibit batches for stability so generally two lots of api are required to be used in the exhibit batches that is the minimum number of batches is 3 exhibit batches for all the strains are required to be loaded onto the stability then stability requirement for supac changes then another question is what is significant body of data for some of the interviewers this question is very important the people who are working in the quality assurance regulatory affairs research and other departments also they should know what is significant body of data and when that significant body of data is available what are the packaging requirements for us and europe market and what are the differences can the expiry period be extended how the stability can be demonstrated for generic product how to stabilize the photo labile products how to stabilize the moisture sensitive products what are the factors to be considered for designing the stability protocol how to select the packaging materials how formulation composition can lead to impurity formation how to select the manufacturing process to avoid stability problems the example is if the product is sensitive to water that time you should go for dry granulation or direct compression also if wet granulation is required then go for non aqueous type of wet granulation and if the product is coated then in coating also avoid aqueous coating and go for non aqueous coating what is polymer retention and polymer conversion in stability how the api form of its stability what are the stable api forms what are the stabilizers what type of problems you have faced or you faced for the stability what are the regulated market queries for stability what are principles of bracketing and what are the principles for matrixing what is principal pack or what is strong pack what are the best practices for stability studies some questions of these presentations are answered based on to the experience what precautions you will take for stabilization of the formulation so this type of questions are generally asked then what are the ics guidelines 
for stability studies what are the country specific guidelines for stability studies how the stability data is evaluated how the expiry period is calculated so stability is a very big topic many questions can be asked some of the questions i have enlisted here will help you to have good understanding and confidence in the interview so i hope i have covered most of the questions and the list is not ending here if i get more questions i will make another video on the topic and if you find these questions difficult you can make the answers ready by studying the literature by studying the guidelines and also some videos are available for your ready reference with pharma learning in depth channel so you can watch those videos and you can have a good understanding thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to this channel so that the other people will also get benefited thank you